Hey everyone, this is Justitech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will talk about the developer mode option on the latest iOS 16 and how we can enable it. And still, if it's not showing for you in this video, I will exactly show you how you can fix that and enable the developer mode. And last time on my channel, I have uploaded this video in that I have explained how you can install the Filza file manager on the latest iOS 16. But on the iOS 16, you also enable the developer mode option and then only you can run the Filza file manager but for some user this developer mode option is not showing in the privacy and the settings so in this video i will show you how you can fix it and enable the developer mode firstly make sure that you are running on the latest ios 16 because apple introduced this new developer mode option on the ios 16 only for the ios 15 you don't have to use this method that will not work only for the ios 16 now if you are not aware of the developer mode option this basically for the ios developer to test their apps on the ios interface and for there they need to side load and sign the apps to test their application and the various other debug tools to help their apps to run on the iOS 16. Apple really changed the side load way on the iOS 16 as compared to the old iOS 15 or lower. You need to allow the app certificate from the device manager and after that to run the app. You also need to be in the developer mode option and after that you can run the apps directly and test it on the iOS interface. But if you are looking at the same on the iOS 15, you just need to sign the certificate from the device management and after that just run the app directly and it will work. And Apple really don't want the normal person can on this option and sideload these apps and run and test it as that is only for the iOS developer. If the normal person can run the app easily and it might be not good for their device and it can be attacked in the other ways as the untrusted app you can install and sideload it so that is why by default you cannot get that option you need to enable it through some ways so there are lots of ways you can enable it i will just discuss about the two three ways that will help you out to enable that option now the first way is the standard way that is also available on the apple official website that is the xcode way you just need to connect with the xcode of your device and then test the sideload app and after that that option will be available but if you don't have mac and you want to run it on the windows and you want to do that there is two three ways firstly if you have a sideloadly you can run the sideloadly and sideload any app and after that that option will appear also you can use the all store option that will works with the same or cdi impactor and if you don't want this long time taking process or mess up with the thing i will show you the very easy and the fast way first go to the google and type tenoshare i care phone you will get on this website after that download this tool this tool is available for both windows and mac after the download simply run the tool Now after that connect your iPhone or iPad that is running on the latest iOS 16. Now the tool will detect the device. Now select the first option that is the developer mode option and after that you will see your developer mode option will fix in the settings. So let me just show you. Currently it's not showing for me. You can see that only the lockdown option is showing. Now click on that option. Now click on yes and just go back and refresh the settings and after that you will see that developer mode option is showing. So let me just go back and show you. So now you can see the developer mode option is showing. Now you can easily enable it. Now click on that and enable. After that restart your device. Now after the reboot you will get this option enable the developer mode. Click on enable. Now you have successfully enabled the developer mode on the latest iOS 16 and you can see that the developer mode is on. So that is how you can fix the developer mode option if it's not showing for you. You can try the easy way on your Windows machine and easily on it in a single click. So that is all for this video. I will see you in the next one. So till then goodbye, take care and peace out.